So Twitter, as we all know, is a very popular site. And like all popular sites, you've got all sorts of people. Today, we'll be talking about a particular individual on this site. What makes this person so memorable? Well, maybe it has to do with the fact that they are apparently in a relationship with their grandpa. Yes, you heard that right. They are apparently in a relationship with their grandpa. This tweet from them reads out how they quote-unquote switched my grandpa's dementia medication with Viagra. Gonna get laid tonight. First off, what what do I even say to this? Like, what? Okay, like, you want to fuck your grandpa? That's weird as fuck. <laughs> like, why would you tell us? But, you know, maybe this is just an offhand joke and they're trying to be funny. I initially thought this after looking at this tweet for a bit, but that quickly changed when I scrolled down to see the comments because, let's be honest, with a tweet like that, the replies are going to be very interesting. I do that only to be greeted with her linking a tweet of what appears to be her grandpa eating her out. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! She legit has her grandpa giving her, like, mad top. Like, god damn, he's fucking into it, dog. I know this joke is a bit overused, but... Are you from Alabama by any chance? Because goddamn, I was not expecting you to like have your grandpa eat you out. Yeah, lol, my grandpa is the best at eating me out. He gives me that fire cock. Well, I mean, judging from the picture, he gives fire tongue, so... I honestly want to say more about this, but I can't think of anything else because what do you say upon seeing that, so... I'll just finish up this segment with the fact that I bet her grandpa comes cobwebs and dust. She also has a thread where she talks about how sex work is harder than jobs like doctors or lawyers. First off, the requirements to be a doctor slash lawyer require many years of tests and studying at colleges for some of the most taxing career paths you can take. I'll link some sources for the requirements to become a doctor slash lawyer in the description. Meanwhile, what's the requirements for OnlyFans? You take some pictures of your naked body and post them online, and that's basically it. I mean, sure, it takes confidence to do that, and you also need to focus on some stuff like lighting and positioning, but let's not compare the work it takes to becoming a doctor slash lawyer to having an OnlyFans account or sex work. She also talks about how apparently you can't be taught how to make an OnlyFans compared to how you can just learn other trades at school. First off, it is much easier to learn how to take pictures of yourself to sell to people on some website than it is to become a doctor slash lawyer. And by your logic, it should be easy for people to pick up OnlyFans slash sex work, especially since you don't have to go to school to open up an OnlyFans. The thread continues to start of talking about how she's right and how she's not joking about this as well as how it is much harder to be a sex worker than it is to be a doctor slash lawyer. But I just wanted to pick out this last like part out where she talks about how you have to bow down to people who have an OnlyFans. Like, what is this goddamn ego that I'm seeing here? Like, yeah, it's fine if you want to do sex work, but let's not act like you're the best of the best here making innovative changes. You are simply taking pictures of yourself for guys online. You are not studying for an important career path that can help many people later on. And for the part where she says that she's not joking, and if you think she's joking, that you need to grow up, like, dog, you need to grow up. You literally just said to bow down to sex workers. How about you take your own advice and grow up? But honestly, after seeing all of these tweets, I am still not sure if this is satire or not, because on one hand, the fact that this is all just a joke and they are fishing for attention is extremely plausible and sounds reasonable, but on the other hand, this is Twitter we're talking about, or sometimes known as Tumblr 2.0, so I'm not really optimistic for it being a joke, in my personal opinion. But there is that chance. That's all I have to say. I'm out. Bye. Oh, uh...